Oh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And my word, have these girls got some big shoes to fill. Well, let's go with our third and final game of the day. Old Collegians taking on Brighton. It's a good start. Unfortunately, I don't have a team list for Old Collegians just yet. So if anybody is watching and wants me to give me names and numbers or text someone on the sideline so they can send them up, that would be absolutely adorable. That one we do know. That is Marianne Longstaff. Always solid on a carry. And that's the other Longstaff, I think. Kayla Longstaff. Kayla, yep. So Brighton, nice and easy and early start. Old, Col Old Collegians, of course, returning with the women's team after a year off last year. Courtney Munro with the take. Ball's available. Counter good counter, good from counter. Old Coles. And a penalty. And a penalty, yes. So, we obviously did, we did the girls uh, when we were here two weeks ago and did the girls when they played Port Adelaide and it was a great little game. Um, yeah, two weeks ago, yes it was. It was two weeks ago. And uh, Foxy Clune playing fullback. I had a chat with her after the game. Very, very impressed with her goal kicking. Hopefully, we'll see whether she's taken any of my advice on board. Probably oh, you not. gave us some coaching tips. Of course I did. Can't help yourself, Dave. I'm all about the kickers. So Old Coles have elected for a scrum here, centre field, just over halfway. Just trying to see whether, because this is almost a brand new team for Old Collegians. I'm just trying to see whether I recognise anybody. Um, yep, you're on your own there. Yeah. And they're away. It'll show inside, attacks the line. Manages to get through, gets the offload away. Trying to get on the outside. Lost forward. Great cover and tackle touch. by Foxy. She's got a bright future, I think, although she's just pulled up a little bit lame from that one. She's hiding yep, it. Just she's a stinger by the look I of hope that. So. Yeah. If there's anything too Sarah, she would have just kept going to the sideline. I did think I saw that is Brianna Nathan who's come into first receiver. Yes, she is. She didn't play two weeks ago, did she? No, she's back this week and captaining tonight at 10. Absolute favourite of the Space Plate sports crew, Brie Nathan. So. Are we uncontested? Uh, not sure. I mean, that looks uncontested. So Out the back to Nathan. Beats the first one, beats the second one, then we'll give it away. There is Clune, just looks to straighten. Restart is good. Munro goes a bit sideways. Oh, low ball. Oh, it's just Stella picked off the boot slices. That's another Munro. Munro's everywhere. Munro's, Longstaff's. If in doubt, say one of those two names is probably somebody. New church. And chuck a clean in. <laughs> oh, another good Great counter, counter rock. Play on. Uh -uh. And again, another good counter rock and a penalty. Taking it quickly. And they have taken it quickly. They're off and running. Showed inside, beats the first tackle. Trying to get it. Oh, question of high, but I think she's okay. That's yeah, Matthew. No, tackle. no, she got it. Thought she was all right, but. Yeah, and in no, the end, oh, that one was stolen. Just puts her head down and goes again. <laughs> New Church doing everything she can to hold her up. But old Coles will reset. Then they will come to this near side. Still under advantage, centering the ball. Certainly a rebuilding year for old Collegians. Oh. Brighton missing out on their... Uh, The real big names that they had in the year that they went all the way to the grand final. Oh, great covering tackle by Bree Nathan. Rook comes again. Straight through the middle. Going to coming. come back, I think. Oh. Running over players as the referee comes back. Scrum called again. 
So th this one will give us an idea whether they're uncontested or not, and it, it's got to be front row experience if that's the case, you would think. Just so the, bright, the Brighton front row are all experienced in the front row. Yeah, I don't know about the old Coles front row. And that's the only thing I can think is front row experience. If, if they are. And the way they're setting up, it looks uncontested. It looks uncontested. Just giving some advice on side to put the ball in. Yep, there's Yeah, it's contested. definitely uncontested. <laughs> and they come late. Can she make the first one miss? Looks for help, and you would look for help as Longstaff bird down on you. Good movement again from Old Collegians. Nice pickup. Yeah, Brighton just have to give up on the arm tackles. They've got to actually a body up. And a penalty for not releasing. Marianne, was it? It is Marianne Longstaff. Yep, taking it quickly. The matriarch. Ball out to Emily Cornish and then... Oh, that's, a that's a sky kick. Sky high kick and everybody lets it bounce. Where's it going to go? Hands up in a Brighton hand. Yeah, I think that's Foxy Clune again with the ball. Ball's available. Out to Courtney Munro. Great covering tackle and yeah. over the ball again for College. I think, is that, I know her first name's Shahan, but surname escapes me at the moment. Longstaff again just stands and eventually is wrestled to the ground. Jess Hines in at halfback, looking both sides. Out to Emily Cornish. She's done okay, but has it stolen? Old Coles again. Drag down from behind ball available numbers lining up for college we've got numbers out to the left if they can get quick ball oh it's stolen Foxy Munro again Clune Clune sorry oh, I said to oh, turned over turned over but oh, there's a knock on a little knock on there unlucky So first Brighton scrum, is it? No, right no, we've right had one, on no, the 22. We've had one each, so it's right on the 22. Oh, we so we, we Jess Hines to put the ball in. Clearance We're from here would 10. be difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm going to put money on Brighton running it out. Bree Nathan, first receiver. And they're going to come the short side, the way well, this I is mean, set they, up. They've split, so where's your pace? Foxy Clune standing directly behind. Oh, we've gone, gone, gone this the right. way and then a little look and just a little bit sideways, which has caused them to cough it up and Old Collegians can go again. In the side. In the side. And we've got another Got to come around, so another penalty. So nice and slow, and I say nice and slow because we went through one heck of a Premier Grade game. Well, first off tackles oh, that's a, girls, and yeah. that's a great drive towards the line by College. Kind of what we saw in the reserve grade game is those first tackles are important. Yep, driven back. And she that's how it looks like a ball, doesn't it? Sounds like it should be a maul. Brighton Even if it gets the, the ground. And no, we're going to call it a tackle ball. And the they don't have available. to move. So Off again. Can they get it out? Do they need to get it out? Good tackle again inside the five. Arm comes out again. Another penalty, sealing off. Straight off the feet by Brighton. They're going to have to start being careful. Off they go again. Oh, well done to run through oh, Longstaff. And good defence there, though. Monroe. A little bit. Messi again, oh she did well to pluck that one out of the air, driven back over the rock. They're attacking right on that breakdown, College. Well, they're in the five again and you would suggest that's another maul. Finally come back their way. Ball's available. Offside. Ball offside. 
Couldn't quite get down, so we'll offload him. Wow. Very nice. That's a uh, good line speed from Nathan, but she's offside again. Good shot by Nathan, but off again. Trying to find a space around the outside. Oh, oh just too far in front. But they're going to come back for another penalty for offside, and that's three. You wonder at what point he's going to pull Bre Nathan out and say, enough is enough. Yep, ladies, you've got to stay on side. I think it might be, a, you'd just about think there'd be a word from the, uh, the college team captain saying, sir, how many, how many? Yeah, and I think he, he just defaulted to Marianne Longstaff to tell her. I don't think it matters who's captain. <laughs> no. She is, uh, she's probably one of the most experienced women rugby players in South Australia. League and union. League and, yes, definitely. Brings a wealth of knowledge and a good following. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> interesting pick up from the front row, though. Yeah, I don't know how you managed to break and pick up. <laughs> well, when they're uncontested, there's, there's no pressure, and the ball's sitting there. He's like, well, I have to have a go. Uh, it, yeah. It's got to be front row experience. I will try and find out what's going on. There's some serious injury issues down on the old collegians bench. The sling being out again. It's not the first shoulder injury we've seen. No. We've seen here today. And it is certainly a, uh, oh, and they're away. To the left. And she was almost over the line. Now they are right over the line. <laughs> Old Collegians will strike first. Five so points on the board. It was a great build up by College. Phase play after phase play, just relentless pressure and numbers finally ran out for Brighton. They have been very, very patient. They have. And the kick goes through. It's a wonderful kick. No time wasted for the conversion. Oh no. 12 minutes down. Brighton is still having a, uh, a little bit of a discussion behind discussion the post. Behind the post. So we'll play when we're ready. Thank you very much. A little bit of a debrief. Andy Phillips, the coach. Barking instructions from the back. It's, it's an interesting point. It's <laughs> when we play these regular season games, and specifically the non and even the Premier grade reg regular season games, this idea of technical areas and who's allowed on the pitch and where you can go and who's allowed on the playing enclosure, it's really not policed no, it's not. during the season. And this is not a, a criticism. It is what community rugby is. And for most of the regular season, we are community rugby. When we get to finals and all of a sudden we've got four, five, six we officials. Put professional hats on, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we have yeah. to. And it, it kind of, just, it, it takes a little bit to get used to. Yeah, the, fir the first half of finals is generally a, a feeling out process for what you can get away with as a, yeah. as a, as a team official. Because all of a sudden technical areas are painted on the field, yes. playing enclosures are there and got to warm up in the right places. We have and boxes marked for, uh, for our <coughs> players' enclosures, but... but they're not used. They're not policed. Again, they're going oh, to try and find some space. This time they do get onto this outside and sandwich, but the ball comes back. I'm very impressed with the uh, old collegians number 10 so far. Somebody could tell me who the name is. Just too many times. Old collegians playing at a pace now as well. Longstaff again will get hold and try and refuse to let it get to ground. So we've got a high tackle. So they're going to go scrum again, which is not a bad idea because it's guaranteed ball, isn't it? It is. Yep. It's guaranteed backs versus backs. <laughs> so seven points to nil as we approach 15 minutes. 35 minute halves. No time on, so. Nope. Straight 35 minutes.
and we're still we're still uncontested. We're still uncontested. Yep. And oh, so almost gives you a college playing with seven in the scrum. They are. Is that are we are we fourteen aside? And it looks like no. Right it's no fourteen, right. fifteen because one of them came out. Oh, hair! Oh, Marion Longstaff, just a wrecking ball at the moment. I don't think the hair pull was on purpose. Mm. <laughs> you are giving her the benefit of the doubt, I will agree with you. I think we, I, would, I, I, I we think would have seen a different reaction if it was down in front of the old collegians oh, bench, I think, so. I think. They're quite animated in the, in the, on the bleachers as well, though. Crossfield run. Sideways and then tries to find a gap. I don't Still made mind a good 10 that. metres, though. Yeah, you need runners coming off you if you're going sideways. Oh, oh Bree Nathan. Nathan. Oh. Solid in defence as usual. Pulling all the old, out the old Gandalf. You shall not pass. Oh, a little knock a little on there. The ball was on. available. Unlucky. It's another one of those that she saw it coming a long, long way away. Pound for pound, is there a harder hitter in women's rugby than Bree Nathan? No. Tracy Stannis would be up there. Yes. But, yeah. but like I say, pound for pound. Bree Nathan is I would still up there. not like to be hit by Bree Nathan. No. No. Defensively, she, I mean, defensively the K train coming at you offensively might be a different kettle uh, of fish. No, Bree's more frightening. She'll snipe you from any angle. You can see the K train coming straight at you. You know you're going to get run over. Here we go again with the number 10 looking around the outside. Does make it around the outside. Does you all oh, the way. Oh, oh, foot in touch. Foot in touch. And uh, we can confirm that that is an old Collegians member with the flag, so definitely, definitely in touch. Also a referee. That's true. Oh, there it is. Oh, there. There it is. Oh. And on the 22. Do you know what I love is I, will, I love uh, Longstaff celebrating the tackle. <laughs> oh, no, she's, no. <laughs> she's, she's got her flag up. <laughs> Great fun. Great fun. Is this the first line-out we've seen today? Um, well, we've certainly not seen enough to no, for them to be memorable. No, we haven't. Munro getting the ball in. Ball's slapped back. Regained. Have they got room out here? That's oh, the kind that of sideways you don't want to do. That should have been given. Yeah. So Jess Hines, short ball. Long staff again. Well, Kaliza have done well. Got a release. Both of them have to release. Long staff. I tell you what, good tackle, young lady. Courtney Munro making another five metres. People do generally go high on long staff, and that just allows us to stand up and distribute. She just wades through, yeah. doesn't she? Yep. She manages to keep her arms free. Oh, Nathan will put it onto boot. Centering. Nathan spent a long time with uh, Alex Rockerborough and the Romans trying to work on that kicking technique. How's, this, how's the counter-attack from Old Collegian? So far, so good! <laughs> Bree Nathan. There she is again. Gandalf yep. the White. Almost stolen. Whistle's gone. Oh. Penalty. For I mean, not, not releasing. releasing. Yep. Jade. There's Bree Nathan again. Just Jade Byers with, uh, with the unlucky on the penalty there. Thought she had rights to it. Running around like a Miley Cyrus song, knee breath, Bree Nathan tonight. Knee breathing. Spit it out. Come on. I know. I know. So it looks like college, every penalty is going to look for the scrum. They don't trust their line out. Well, you know, I mean, why would you? You've got guaranteed ball. I, I am interested because they've gone, they've gone back to eight. And I wonder. Brighton have eight. There's college only, have seven. Uh, there's only one on the bench as well. So I wonder the whether sling. they're down to. Yeah, so I wonder whether they're down to 14. It looks that way, doesn't it? Because you can't. You can't just choose oh, to nice. have seven in. That is a great leg as well. Great kick. Seeing the battle the of the roll, kickers. How's the, the case? Awesome so Foxy well. Clune has to deal with it. Deal with it, she does. And well covered. Yeah, felt a little bit high. She got away with it. Battle of the kickers so far. No kick coming in here. Off they go again. Tries to find a way around the outside. Nice little slip offload. Oh, 
turnover. Yep, all clear. Off they go again. Try to show the inside. Oh. Same side. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. I think nine for uh, College's Alicia Pennar. She's uh, come on leaps and bounds. Sideways and straightening again. What have we got? Arm out already for kind of being 10. Yeah, yep. that's going to be it. It's Graham Raymond on the near side and uh, Jimmy Jones over on the far side. Jimmy Wilson on the far Jimmy side. Jimmy Wilson, sorry. Yep. Jimmy Wilson, whose daughter did the... Um, third grade. Third grade AR. Did she reserve she did. grade AR as well? Uh, no, just the no, third grade. It's nice to see it staying in the family. Yes. And I don't want to call her Jimmy Wilson's daughter. I just Jamie. Jamie, there we go. Jamie Wilson. Oh, nice little step. Yeah, but good acceleration. There, there is that soft area behind the right. Unconventional clean up, but it worked. They're off again, a little bit over the top. Oh, oh Nathan again. Sideways again. There's the straighten, which is good. And the offload. Has to come across and tidy it up. Don't need to tell you who that was. And play the whistles, lady. Yeah. It was a forward pass, but you all stopped, so the ref may not have seen so that one. Is it that they can they can opt, can they opt for a free kick? Is that? I believe so. Well, I think they're going to go with the scrum. With, when you go with the scrum, you've got seven college players tied up, don't you? So it gives your backs a chance to to have some open field play. So if they've got seven in the scrum, have they gone to eight? No, they have seven in the scrum. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve fourteen on the field. So they're, they're a player down. Brighton have stayed with 15, Whoa. which they are well within Wild their rights to do. Wild boil that works out. So, I mean, at the moment, Old Collegian are climbing a mountain. They're a player down. And they're five points up. Seven. And, uh, seven points up, sorry. And uh, this battle between Nathan and the Old Collegian's number 10 is it's absolutely mouth-watering at the moment. Oh. Longstaff, good quick hands. Marianne, and then they're out. Oh, JD just, just dropped it. Lost it a little bit forward. Oh, no, must have gone backwards. Across the face, let's call it. One-handed. Dan hands out. Can they get away? Foxy again. Now she gets around the outside, starts oh, to nice accelerate bend. away. Great, don't argue from her. Just dragged her away. Great yardage from her. Chloe McPherson into halfback, up to Emily Cornish. This has been a nice little patch of rugby. Ball's back again. That's a good tackle as well. Nice long place by Mel Matthew. Kylie Newchurch Nathan up to Nathan looks on the outside. Gets away from the first. Bundled into touch eventually. Good passage of play there by Brighton. Some good go forward rugby. I need somebody to tell me who that number 10 is. I've been very impressed with her so far. Everything she's done with a she ball in hand and ball on foot. She's made some good decisions out there. Directs traffic well. Wobbly old throw. Ball's back oh, again. Yeah, she's just going to find, try and find a gap down this near side and puts her head into traffic. And Longstaff goes quickly to Longstaff. And out to Nathan. I think there was a self change for Brighton. Just took herself off. I think she's got a little bit of an injury. Obviously can't make a change until the next field of play. No, no, there was a substitution. Jen Heggie's on a number 23. During the game? Uh, yeah, it was at the line out. Oh, okay, that's fair. Long staff. Tina where she likes to be in midfield. Too long staff. Has the... Oh, oh, oh. she's done well! She's brought it in like a juggler and over she will go. Courtney you Munro. written her off. No, you <laughs> You were like, oh, oh. It's a great, great little hit and spin and juggle and tap to yourself. Well done, Courtney Munro. Great try. Haven't, so, made, it, 
haven't made it an easy kick for Foxy. No, but uh, <laughs> I like how she's trying to wander in field. Yeah. <laughs> just been called That's up. A, just been called up by the referee. It's a mature head on old on young shoulders. What a take though by uh, Courtney Munro. It was great take. Happy with her efforts. So, what I spoke to Foxy about last time I saw her was. She just stopped a little bit. She gets good leg speed through, but she just Stabs stops. Yeah. I'd like to see her follow through and end up, and what I talked to her about was walking towards the goals after you've kicked it, just to get that feeling of going towards the goals and the momentum through the ball. So let's see whether we've got anything or whether she just didn't listen to that silly old man in the car park. <laughs> I know which one you're going with. Nope, she did not listen. No. Nope. She rushed that kick, though. Um, she was forward and back, forward and back. Head, yeah. head wasn't in it. There was no process at all. Getting some coaching from Adele. I mean, there was a little bit, uh, was a little bit more forward motion than we saw two weeks ago. Unfortunately, the kick wasn't as good. No. No, it was, yeah. So 20 mi 26 minutes down, first half. College to restart. College up by two. I have to say, I'm going to... Uh, we've just ticked over 7 p.m. As that one is uh, drilled into the 22. That's going to find its way. Is it going to take a bounce inside? Did she step on the line? No, she didn't. <laughs> no one's done anything. Play the whistle, lady. Oh, she gets away from another one. And now we're away. Everybody has slowed down, not quite sure. Graham Raymond has been pulled in. He didn't put his flag up. Not entirely I'm sure. sure. I don't know why we've stopped play either. Did she step in touch? No. Okay, I'm lost there. Maybe it was just a, hey, let's stop and reset. <laughs> Nobody knows what's happening. Let's stop and reset. But what I want to say is we've just ticked over 7 p.m., um, I was here this morning, and I, well, I wasn't here this morning, but Jane Fishwick was here at 7 a.m. to get ready for today. So As she's always. just twicked out, tw clicked over 12, 12 hours. hours. Uh, I think she's still down there, working around down there as a ground marshal. Um, she will have a well-deserved rest after this one. But a big shout-out to Jane Fishwick for the work she does around here. Centering kick uh, by Bree Nathan. Oh, oh, a little knock-on. Yeah, footsteps, you would think. I think backing away from the ball while taking <laughs> it never helps. Keep coming forward to the ball. Is there anything worse, though, than sitting under a high ball? Uh, well, yes. Being <laughs> <laughs> buried at the bottom of a ruck. That's true. So I want to take this moment to talk to you about scrums as well, because we talked we talked very, very, not that we had much chance to chat in the Premier and Great no, game, that was flat but out. we did talk about... Um, sort of the old school about how you used to have a run up like Rams and I know that a lot of old school players want to you know miss those days but times, so times much, change so much safer now oh it, it is a lot safer um, I remember when I first started playing it was you formed your scrum up first and you just belted into each other is that a Carpani it is it's it a Tiano Carpani yep it's the mini K train TK yep <laughs> Out to Kuali. What would we call that? The K tram? Uh, I'll With the greatest I'll, of respect, I'll, obviously. I'll let you fight that fight, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just say KT. Long staff again, standing in that distributing position. Step. Oh, it's a, hesitates. Oh, that's a fabulous challenge as well. Again. Out to Long staff, out to Bree Nath. Oh. oh, showed. Stood up. Showed. Oh, pass behind. This number 10 is coming across for the cover. Oh, That's a nice little offload as well. How's the counter rock again from old Coles? It's great. Unfortunately, no one followed her. Longstaff, not quite to Longstaff. It'll get there eventually. And again, good defence comes across. It's not allowing Marianne to do what she wants to do. 
No, she's not uh, She's not generaling the play out there because she's actually having numbers mm. come through on defence on her. She's used to being able to just stand up and offload, and not today. Now, the college defence has, uh, has been up there. They're right in Brighton's faces, making them actually earn their yards. And again, Stevie, another good Stevie with a good tackle. carry. Long stuff. Oh, I'll tell you what, the first one was good and the tackle on the second one was even better. It's, whoever is coaching these old Coles girls defensively, give them a raise. Yeah, the D, the D has been exceptional tonight so far. Not making yardage, but long stuff again. This time she does manage to get it away to Nathan, and Nathan will just look for the outside. Nathan now will rise through the gears, tries to come back inside, and that's great covering across. Does manage to get away Still eventually. Feet, Still going. Incredibly strong runner. And oh, again, the get counter Get over the up. ball, ladies. Yep, ball's there. Thumbs, referees in the way. Gone backwards, but TK. gives them a little bit of steam. Going to find its way to Longstaff. Again brought to ground and again just, just causes the... Yep. Who's that? Don't argue. Giving it the big Drake. And this is a wonderful tackle. Body on the line stuff. So Brighton still attacking the line. Foxy having a crack. Doesn't quite get there, does very well just to oh. restart again and very nearly stolen, but Longstaff will barrel over the line and she will get her try. Well done, Carla. Landing on top of an old collegians player is... That does not look good from where I am. Does not look good. Oh, great placement, Foxy. Setting up. Based on the way she's Jess lying. Jess Hines quickly and over that ball. Ball out. Very nearly got that. And then she will just... Hit and spin. Barrel her way over the line. She's folded just in. Just crunched, yeah. Folded in two. Knees met her, met her eyeballs. Didn't look like a comfy landing, did it? No. She's happy with it. Kayla's happy. Yep. Not as big a celebration as we had. And yeah, no. Unfortunately. Well, fingers and toes moving. That's a good sign. I have a very sore neck. Mm. The difficulty is, Shahan Matthews, I want to say, <laughs> she's down getting strapping. I'm not entirely sure whether we're going to see this young lady continue. No, she's sitting up. Or she go with a different foot. Yeah, she went with the right foot that time. Well, that's just not fair. <laughs> Can't kick with both of them. Well, um, no, no, that's your issue now. You're, you're the coach. You're the <laughs> kicking coach. <laughs> uh, so the first up would be Foxy choose a foot. Yeah. Yeah, that was just rolled, rolled into a ball over the try line. Good to see her sitting up, though. It is great to see her sitting up, but I'm not sure we're going to see her continue. Shahan is down getting strapping and she's getting a talking to as well. But if that's the case, are we going to go down? What would they go down to? 13? 13? 12? If you got, there's already one on one the sideline. One on the sideline and they were at one 14. One strapping. So what are we going down to? One with a neck injury, so that'll be down to 12 for restart. Oh, that could get messy. So 10 7. Oh, great take. Nice take, Stevie. And lovely defence. So if they were climbing a mountain, old coals, it just got steeper. Long stuff. To Newchurch. Triple tackle on Kuali Newchurch. Ball available. Body's got to roll out, though. Yeah, she's trying. Then they go into midfield. Emily Cornish making good yards. Jess Hines out to Bree Nathan. Oh, oh unlucky. dropped it cold. 
Jade Byers just had a little oh, look. So we are going to get a chance. The, the crowd did, crowded around Shahan. He's down just on the bench. Got a boot off getting an ankle strapped. I think she went ankle and knee, so we will get a chance. So that is three on the bench for Old Coles, which will put them at 12. 12. So... <sighs> it's hard work. We've got... We're, we're in the final minute of the first half, so... I mean, they will want half-time. Yes, looking forward to that whistle. So, so this should be the last play. So they've gone to six. Six in the scrum. Twelve. And Brighton, I think, have stayed at 15, which they're well in their rights to do. With numbers on the bench. Mm. Oh. Oh. This is a battle we want to see. Nathan versus the number 10. Double tackle by uh, Bree. Just about got her. And the turnover. turnover. TK working away inside. Now can they make the numbers count? There is a massive overlap over on that far right hand side. Just, got just spread can't it. get it out. Throw a blanket over them in there. Still got that overlap. There's three players out there and no defenders. Can they get there? Quick Here hands. they go. Quick Nathan. Hands. That's good cover in defence from Old Colle Collegians. Clue, oh, that's going to be tackle. high. Well, the last thing they need is a yellow card. Oh, yeah, it was a seatbelt tackle. There was nothing, nothing malicious in it. It was no, just, just, just a, a bit lazy in the tackle. Yeah. So, so we're going to play the line out? Oh, no, we're going to have a scrum. So she's going to come back, but she's almost just going to have to... We'll see how she frees up running-wise, but... Doesn't look that comfortable. Doesn't look that comfortable, and he's almost just going to be holding a space. It's another player to run around. Yeah. I mean, I made a career of that, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't injured. No. <laughs> just an obstacle, Dave. <laughs> yeah, I felt like a speed hump at times. Yeah, we've all been there. So, ball's out. Nathan and we're oh it's twice she's done it to her. And it's half time. <laughs> okay, so that is half time. We will have a short break. Uh, hopefully all collegians can patch up some more players. And uh, so we're there back to thirteen. So we'll take a short break. We'll be back with you for half number two. So we're back and we've managed to rope in somebody from Old Collegians. Buller, Alex Rockaborough. How are you feeling? Great, thanks for having me, Dave. It's yeah. been a bit, bit ginger after the game, but it's great to watch him uh, watch him rugby. It is. How good's the balcony up here? Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> now, look, we, we get to compare it to Old Collegians next week. But um, kind of brought you on for a couple of reasons. We are getting a team sheet brought up to us. Oh, a little but knock you, on there. You know, a little, you know a little bit about the girls. and We said that Old Collegians had a year off um, last year. We'll steer away from why. But um, it's almost a brand new team. And it, the only person I recognise out there is Shaheen. I've forgotten the surname, un unbelievably. And what are we, 13 players on the park at the moment? Two, two off? Yeah, yeah, still two off. It's, um, it can be tough. There's a couple of girls that have just rocked up this evening, first time playing that uh, yeah. were ro roped in. But uh, no, it looks like they're doing okay. And that would explain the, uh, the uncontested scrums because obviously just experience going into it. But Nathan will take it and look to this near side. Doing her best to run away from the number 10 who, uh, when we get a, a break, we'll have a chat about. TK working her way through and there's the little K train that we know and love making great yards Longstaff to Longstaff to Nathan and she'll loop it out and again that's beautiful work and just Clean numbers yep. oh she got her did she hold her up questions asked held up comes from oh no the thumb up from Jimmy over on that far side. Okay, I reckon I was closer to the try than that bloke was, but hey, looks like he got <laughs> it down. She got it down, sorry. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a long time coming for the call. Yeah, well, I tell you, it's a good, oh, it's high anyway, so. Yeah, no, that's a try all day. Yeah, if it's not a try, it's a penalty try, so. Um, when yeah. you're lying on top of the ball over the try line, there's no knock on. Jimmy Wilson was in uh, well, that's good second. position. She's in hat-trick territory. Uh, Courtney Munro. Courtney Munro, yeah. Like lurking out on the wing. So, Bullock, you, uh, you and I have long conversations about kicking. Foxy Clune, when we saw her last week, uh, two weeks ago, was absolutely outstanding. 
If she tries out for Romas, I need you to spend some time with her. She has a huge amount of potential. She's tried one right-footed and one left-footed tonight. Well, well she'd probably teach me a few things after today, <laughs> but no. None of the kickers worked well today. Oh, was yeah, it? it was tough. I was, you know, the new grandstand put me off. I don't know, it was windy. Nah, it was, it was, it was tough to... There was no wind today. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> every excuse. More yeah. excuses than an F1 driver. Oh, no, yeah, the tyres weren't right. It was, yeah. No, it was, uh, it was tough to go up. Now, lesson number oh. one is the tee setup. These are tough. I find these green I don't like tees them. are very yeah, tough I'm, to Yeah, I'm with you on that as well. There we go. Got oh. no choice. Looks going rush to right set up here. again. Yeah, she has to rush it now. I mean... Well, that's the, the most direction she's had all night. There's technique there. Yeah. I think there's stuff to work with. I think a couple more steps back will give her a bit more momentum behind that ball. Yeah. Her direction was fine. But she tends to stall at impact as well. Yeah, so and it's a stab kick, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, but Romas is coming up. I saw something on Facebook today. The, the, the trials are coming up for Romas. I believe so. Um, are you still involved? Are you going to be still involved? Uh, not 100% not sure at this stage, but um, I'm really excited because obviously it's such a good pathway for girls coming through in South Australia. And it's a clear pathway to playing an Olympic sport. So yeah. I think that that's really good. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's exciting if it kicks off again. Oh, that is a wonderful leg. I think, you know, if you look at if you look at Brighton and Brighton have lost they've lost players. One of the, the players obviously is Carpani, who's just gone on to bigger and brighter things and that's probably thanks to her exposure in the Roma's programme. Sure was. It's a it's it's been a great oh, oh, great oh clue. bounce pass. With the pickup, now she can start to ease through the gears. Oh. Drag down from behind. Great tackle, great mm, cover, no release, great jackal. Though. She's got to be given reward for that, and she is. Interesting. Oh, she's Happen gone. Go. And she's away. There's a try. She's only got long stuff coming across. The chase is on. Black and yellow coming from everywhere, but it's going to be enough. Put it down, young lady. There we go. Alicia Pinar. Just caught Brighton napping. I, I, you, you can't she, take so this is defense. this is all Alicia Pina yep. the drag tackle we've spoken about how that is the release mm, the jackal nearly release but yeah oh, there's a release there stop it she gets rewarded fights for it and the conversion's good conversion's good she takes the penalty backs a turn people on the ground and off she goes with all due respect to Marianne Longstaff, when I saw she was the only one who was anywhere near her, it's almost just right it on. So is that oh, Kalisha's made the change, or is that just another injury? It looks like a, a hip. I, I don't understand that. They don't have anybody to change, do they? Still in the game, though. Not sure. Um, I suppose it's an interesting bench configuration when you don't quite there. have the full... Is there only uh, 12 out there? 12 out there for college. Two sitting on the bench from what I can see. 12 out there. And uh, it's, so, look, to be three points behind in the second half, only playing with 12 players, jeez. Hearts as big as South Australia. I know they're saying it's hearts as big as Texas, but... Yeah, we're <laughs> in South Australia. We'll roll with that. Oh, nice restart there from Bree. Oh, over the head, and it's going to bounce. In goal. And it's going to stay. It stays oh, in. It stays in. Oh, it beats the first one. And the second. Gills, you've got to go low in your tackles. Can't yeah, well, tackle. that ankle strapping doesn't seem to be causing too much problem now. Can't get away from Longstaff, who... Just roped her. in, roped in. And the counter rock comes from Longstaff. Kylie Newchurch with the pick and go. <laughs> a little showing go from Longstaff. Sell least, again. We get at least one of them a game from Marianne. Yep, that's two we've had so far though. Yeah, the big sell. Oh, Ooh. no, that's, that's just somebody who doesn't know. So uh, Sam, I've been told that is the number 11. Yeah, Sam, also new to the game, but... You can see that, but defensively, he's been absolutely outstanding. 
Have a watch of this back when you get home, Boller, and you'll see she takes on um, Marianne Longstaff and just finishes her. Yeah, it's interesting. With defence, it's all an attitude, really. Yeah. So, Isn't it? It's, but the girls just are full noise into the tackles. Yeah. Um, sometimes they are high, sometimes they're an arm tackle, but it's, it's all courage and determination with every single tackle. Yeah, so Rhiannon I've got as a number 10 for... Um, and you were saying when I spoke to you at, just before we came on air, Buller, you were saying to me that plays AFL S... Well, yeah. I don't know what they call it. AFLW for, as a, at an SANFL level uh, yeah. for Norwood. For Norwood, I believe. And, um, SNAFLW. And uh, you reckon not far away from AFLW? Oh, and being able to go cross code like that, I think. Great yeah. leg on it, though. Oh, it's incredible. Oh, some of the kicks she's put in tonight have been phenomenal. Passing off both hands hasn't been awful either for us. No. So, you know, they're the stu that's the stuff that's really hard to coach in. Um, not sure you can eight pick up from uncontested scrum, but we'll let it go. Oh, you can. Can you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah you I, can. I don't spend many time, much time there, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can. Uh, Who yeah. cares? Yeah, it's done. And we go again. Well, I'll have to ask you off there what you're drinking, but they look very, very good. I've seen a number of people with them up on this balcony. Slushies. Is it Dakiri's? Yeah. Oh, great oh. ball to Clune. Now, can she finish? Yes, she can. Yeah, make it easier for the kick. Better than most of the men's finishes I've seen. She banged her head. No, you've got a little, or she's just got a little a, boot on the way through. Got a boot on the way through. Yeah. Unfortunate. <laughs> it's all, this, the spirit in the game is awesome, isn't it? It's oh, just God, like, are you thing. okay? Yeah, oh, I got caught one in the head, but yep. How's this ball, though, from Nathan? Just takes ball it, in two hands. Takes it to the line. Flat ball. Delivers. Could have just put it down there. You're going to break fruit chair ahead of her, I think. We, yep. Just copped a cheeky boot. Alicia Pina trying to get out of the way. Comes in and says, are you okay, Fox? Yeah, I think um, it's got a bright future ahead of her, Foxy Clean. How old is she? Uh, 16. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, dear. Yep, she got thrown out of a plane for her 16th birthday. <laughs> she was super impressed by that, she told me. Oh, just yeah, push that to the left. Stuff to work on, I think. But a bright, bright future. So she's not Roma's ready then, is she? Uh, so age wise, I think 18, yeah. possibly. But certainly can go and do. Can do all the prequel for it. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a Miles, few girls. Miles out will be here a part of it. That will uh, definitely push their names forward for Romers that haven't in the past maybe just through age, but yeah, it'll be exciting to see the new crop coming through. Mm. I didn't get to see the uh, Adelaide University game last week, but I saw some familiar faces when I turned up. So no rush? No, I would be taking my time as well. 20 points to 12. They just need to hang on to those coattails, you would think. And again, that oh, is... Lovely kick. Lovely long kick. Oh, and that's what you're hoping for. Oh. Chloe McPherson just had a little look on the take then. Unlucky. The uh, Alka Legion's bench asking desperately for an offside, but they're not going to get one. <laughs> but what does it matter? You'd get the penalty, you'd call for a scrum anyway. No change in the result, is it? <laughs> Just thinking, because our, our, assistant, our, our assistant referee had the other side, deep in conversation. Now he's realised. <laughs> Getting back involved with the game. Something shiny. It's a good pass off the back of the scrum as well. Oh, nice double round. Oh, they're away and again. Sell. If they can get it out, they can get it out. Now it's all about... Trying to get around that outside. Good long place again. Now they try and find a little bit too sideways again and straight into the clutches of Longstaff. Looks like she's gone to half back now. Oh, there's a don't argue. Just straight. Go to ground with it. Nathan doing what she can. Didn't survive the clean up. They're away again. Can they get in? 
Oh, forward, forward pass. pass. Signal by Graham Raymond. Unlucky. <laughs> Does he want to get himself locked out of the club tonight, Alex? I don't know there. It'll hard, be hard to see on the angle. Yeah, we can't see yeah. from here, but... Jeez, Graham. So, you know, is this being a referee over override to club allegiances, obviously? One would hope. Fair oh, point, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look, there he is. Look, he gets his cameo as well. Yep. Straight and away he was yeah, showing the it. The signal was straight away, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, look of disappointment on her face. Oh, and just to know that you don't even get a chance to sort of, like, push out all your anger and try and win no. one against the head. So what do they do here? Do they run an exit play? Of course they will. Nope, yeah, she comes kick. back and it's going to land in field. Ooh, that's a good Oh, roll. she's had to work hard to get across. Can she hold in? Yes, she can. She's coming back for the retake on Kate her try. Kate Donnelly. Nice little start. Oh, the step inside. She's come out. Oh! 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 Oh, he's going to the pocket too. Crawley Newchurch. Welcome to the party. What colour is it? It's got to be... I, I, I said today we've never seen a direct red. That'll be a yellow. It is a yellow. Kuali sees the cheese. Oh. And it goes again. Do you know what? And I've, I've said this before. We, we only see Biff in the women's games. But look at this Kuali New Church. Jeez. Yeah, with it. That, I for, mean, that, for me, wasn't a high tackle. Mm. Both arms are out, and it was just chest and shoulder. It's a scrum, and it's yeah. all going There's off. There's confusion left, right, and centre on the sideline. Oh, fair enough. Foxy Clune is down, and she has got a, a <laughs> she has got a tape knee, and this is what I was talking about. Cause it, and the other thing is as well, because it's in front of the old collegians bench, there was you're going to get an act, you're going to get a reaction. There's another conversation. The conversation between the trainer and <laughs> the referee. We're going to go back and have a scrum. That's Foxy Clune comes off and. Mel Mathy. Mel Mathy comes on. And after all of that, we're going to have a scrum. Brighton ringing the changes, so two changes. Bit of space out wide here. I think if they can get it through the hands. Yeah, I mean, they burnt, what, a four-man overlap in the yeah, first half, Brighton. <laughs> God, I love this. <laughs> we only ever see it in women's rugby. It's so much fun. So it will be an old collegian scrum. It's just taking its time to come back. Are they up to back up to 13 again? Uh, oh, big and straight. Can she get away? Just finally dragged down. And Longstaff comes across and finishes it off. Now they go again. Oh, that look. Yeah, it was high. Yeah, it was high. The arm comes out. So at least Brighton have gone down to five. They have got numbers if they can get it going. Cobb quite and runs into the brick wall. It's Bree Nathan. And the numbers again out on that right-hand side if they can get it across. Are oh, they going to need them? No, they're not. Oh, Collegians go again. <laughs> We've got people coming in from everywhere to celebrate. This is torrid, toing and throwing, That's possession and Look, at, she gets turnovers. here and then one Inside missed. Out. Two missed. There's a double three. And then it's head down. How's the finish? Great. Yeah. And the Solid. extras. Game on. One point the difference. 19 minutes left. I, don't, I tell you what, we have been absolutely treated rugby wise today there, I'm gonna, there, there's, there's been there has been something to watch in every single game of rugby I'm going to be yeah I'll be perfectly honest when I woke up this morning at 
a little bit dusty because of a work do last night. <laughs> when I woke up this Over morning, indulged. I was like, this is going to be a long day. And I really wasn't actually looking forward to doing three games back to back to back. The reserve grade game, it was, it, was a, it was a match of two different styles of rugby, very patient by Brighton, helter skelter by all collegians. The A grade game just had everything. That was just blitz from both sides. Though, and it? this... It's been, it's I mean, we've talked, never say die, isn't it? We've talked David and Goliath before. Old Collegians have been a player down and two players down. And three players. And three players down for the majority of this game. And as we approach 55 minutes of the game, they're only one point behind. Double knock on there. Hard fought at the breakdown. We've got a Brighton scrum. It's incredible. Who said rugby wasn't entertaining? No. <laughs> Whatever grade it is. Like, this is you I put mean, rugby on yeah. TV and it is a red hot crack, isn't it? We, we've talked about it and you know, people may, you know, may question Why? the quality. And that's okay, but you cannot question the heart this in is, any of this. This is grassroots club rugby. And, and old collegians at the moment are putting on an absolute show. And Brighton need to start making their numbers count. And run around to Nathan. Trying He's to just got to try and find some outside. Oh, Almost got her. That's the oh, stop. She Nathan, go. she's going to do it all on her own. She will get across. Can she finish? Of course she can. That's how you slide in for a try. Yeah, and uh, that's yeah, Textbooked. one of the best finishes I've seen. The girls certainly showing the boys how to finish. They have, haven't they? On the broadcast. Yes. Uh, yeah. She was searching for the space there. A little oh, weave in so, and out. So close to making that tackle. Little left sort of footstep. And uh, is Nathan just going to, is Bree just going to drop kick it? You yeah. would assume so. By the look at that. Oh. No, is she waiting for a tee or not? I think, no, I'm not. I think she's just grabbing a, a breath. Take the time. Yeah. I mean, she'll be used to the... Uh, Drop goal conversions from the sevens. Yep. She can hit him from there as well. She, she can. Definitely. She, no, she's a righty, isn't she? Yeah, curve it back in. It's a long way out though, isn't it? She did herself no favours. <laughs> Look away, Bella. I, I looked away. Unlucky. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> Stubbed her toe it's on the hard, you know, I mean, she's just, I mean, she's run further than she would have wanted to, right across the back line <laughs> and around the back. But, um, it's hard to get your breath back and slow your heart down. And she knew. Just kicked the top of the ball, didn't she? She knew straight away. So 25-19. But every time that Brighton have it's done this. It's a two this, and fro, isn't it? Every time Brighton have done this, all calls have come out. And yep. And almost like in the A grades, conversions would probably be the difference, you would think. This time she goes the opposite side oh, and all wow. my life. Right. <laughs> How's the oh, bounce? Hold up. Let it roll, yeah, let, hold, it roll hold, let it roll, hold, let it roll, let it roll, let it roll. In the darkness I'm of the sure corner. What's you say? No, you don't come, no, 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 you don't come back for the scrum for that one, Kev. No, jeez. Yeah, probably go to 22 though. It is the 22. It will be a 22 dropout. The question was asked, let's see. Oh, they're off again, sorry, and Nathan trying to find some room through. Oh, oh. It's gone backwards, thank God, old collegians tidy it up. Just, just about. No, they're going to get the penalty away, though. Yeah, playing it on the ground. Three or four takes at it just to try and get it back. Yeah, when you're coming back around to go <laughs> all the way to come through the gate, it's a little bit too much to ask, isn't yeah, it? So via scrum. Bree Nathan looks a little bit ginger out there. I'm not surprised. She's just run the equivalent of 800 metres in the last two minutes. You'd love to put a GPS on her and just see her, oh. her efforts in this game, especially. Especially if it's got a pace on it as well. Oh, yeah. Just the acceleration from is incredible. I wouldn't mind a GPS on Tilawaki at some time, sir. His ability oh. to go from 0 to 100% is ridiculous. You'd have to have a vert meter on it as well for his little jumps that he does. Finally, they'll find their way out to the outside, and Matthew. Is dealt with. How's the counter rock again from the old collegians? They're doing just enough. Oh, oh 
big double team. Wow. Nothing wrong with it either. No. Oh, Longstaff gets dumped. That's Pina. Yep. Was that two in a row for yeah, Pina? Yeah, it was. She's brutal in the tackle. The problem is you can't get... Oh, Nathan just showing all facets of her game tonight. Long stuff. Oh, there's the dummy. There's the Sell dummy. Again. She loves the dummy. <laughs> again, she's just not been allowed to do what she wants to do tonight. She doesn't have... Yeah, she's not been allowed to direct, has she? <laughs> Someone's got to let it go. We're off again. Whistle gone. No signal yet. We've got bodies everywhere. So this is one. One high, one low. Legs do not go above parallel. Oh, no, that's just a great tackle That is a great shot. Just and then she gets up and does it again. It. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Mary Ann's used to being uh, manhandled like that out on a rugby field. <laughs> no, and that was one-on-one. -on -one. It was. Great strength by Alicia. Brighton still at 15. Uh, 14 with the man off. But yeah, I'm just still got Quali in the sin bin. Just looking at the game, they're playing quite tight, which is sort of helping old Coles in a way because they're not having to fan out. They're running back at the teeth where I think if you get the ball in, in Bree's hands and shift it twice, you, you've almost got your overlap out wide. So and they've been, well, have the, they they have the, been the, trying the that. Advantage, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. And they've been trying that. They've been trying to get around the outside. They just seem to be unable to. And I don't know whether that's good defence from our collegians or just not quite getting what they need. Nathan obviously trying to choose which side she wants to go. There's the inside drop off and ah, doesn't quite go to hand. Goes back to Munro and this is what we've seen from old collegians. They are happy to defend. Whoa, oh, she right did not, did not survive the clean out, but she's up and going again. And you know what? Bree Nathan would absolutely adore the fact that she's got that competition tonight. With Rhiannon. Loves the game, yep. They've got hands on again. Yeah, Are they going to get rewarded? They should be. Ball's there. Ooh. What have you, you seen? Go. go quick here. You could be on. And Pino no does loss. go quick. She's not 10. Arm comes out. She just keeps going anyway. Looks for the offload. Not quite there. Then they're going to come back for not 10. I mean, unfortunately, the lineup just isn't working for all collegians tonight. But with a, once they get that sorted, when they have a leg that they've got from a number 10, Rhiannon, okay, play territory. There's a, no, oh, we can just hear the, the, oh, the, yeah, the jersey auction inside. It'll just leak its way in. Uh, I think the speakers are on on the outside as well. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're doing the auction for the jerseys. For the Premier Grade jerseys, yep. I did like the jersey. I did like the jerseys. I think they're going to try and tell them to turn the speakers off on the outside. <laughs> It'll be handy. <laughs> I'm sure we're getting some sort of feedback from it. So college scrum, ball coming to the so back. nice and easy. They're not going to go with the number eight pickup again. Here we go. Now they come to this near side. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. She's going to get around the outside. Can she get there? Put your head down and go. Bree Nathan, Bree Nathan, that. but this Abs is that Welsh cover tackle question. Did she put any arms in the tackle? Yeah, she did. It was all arms. We've got to see it again. She That's can. what they're asking. Graham Raymond again is the man involved. Try Gibbon. Did, if she's got that down, that's an absolute miracle. Oh, no oh, way. Oh, wow. Okay. Right, ever. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Ever. She had her hands in her pockets there, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, well, for the good of the game. <laughs> certainly made it interesting. That is not a try. That was a knock-on all day. How was the tackle from Nathan? Sorry, I wasn't even looking. I was yeah. come, oh. through, come through with both arms down for a scoop tackle. See? Mm. You could debate this one for yeah, a while. That one, I I mean, this be, yeah. yeah, that's like the one it's that's uh, that's the one in Ankaparinga as well. We saw that. 
<laughs> one point in the difference. This is a is that old calls in front. No. That can't be. The, the scoreboard no, wrong 25, there. 25, 24. 25, 24, but one point in front. How's the kick? Oh, no. Missy. Yeah, just trying really hard. And then your technique goes out the window. Overkick that one. This is an amazing game of rugby. <laughs> so <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, Breen Nathan's got to be absolutely filthy about that. Well, there's a talking point. Well, the old torpedo drop kick. Beats the first one again. It's going to be held up on the tackle. No, ball to ground. So one point down. What are we time-wise? Uh, Eight minutes to go. Approaches seven minutes. Oh, my. <laughs> Just a little knock oh, on. Great clean out, though. Huge clean out. Jess clean Collins up. went flying. Clean out, counter rock. And pick up. It's just, this game's had had attack, defence. It's been there's been all sorts. It's just the and girls it, have played with such passion tonight. It's it's phenomenal. Brighton will be back to fifteen, they and, yep. and with old collegians are at 13. twelve, thirteen. Thirteen, one, two. So now they'll come this side. 13. To Longstaff. Longstaff just straight. Tries to don't argue. Doesn't quite get it. To work really hard to get it to ground. Good yards after contact to the other Longstaff. Longstaff again pushes away on the first one. Keeps the leg drive going. Yep. Ball's available. Needs to go left. Nathan. Looks oh, for space oh. inside. Straight. Almost got through. Pinar again. Great defense from Pinar. Brighton just trying to control the time, trying to control the clock, control the ball. All about possession now, out to Longstaff again, bobbled it backwards. Nathan, can she get around the outside, forced to come back in, will she get there? Gets the offload, TK on the inside, little, little knock, knock on. on. So it will be a scrum, it will be old Collegian's ball. Still plenty of time. And there's a player down. TK. It is TK who's down. Yep. So Great tackle again. Pena just monstering around to the touchline. Just awkward on the ankle. Yeah, it looks like she's holding a knee there. But back up. Yeah, she's still involved. I think this is interesting because it's gone to uncontested scrums. Brighton have gone to Longstaff at first five. It's uh, Kayla Mary Longstaff. Marianne at number eight. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about. You can basically do what you want at scrum time, personnel-wise. It's an interesting uh, scrum set there with it the is. number eight binding <laughs> outside the flanker. I'm really interested. <laughs> Unconventional. In the, in the D-gap. <laughs> that's what oh. I was expecting. Now it's a foot race. Monroe will get there. Oh! Monroe will knock it on, so they'll have a scrum in another position. I did wonder whether there would be. Did wonder whether there would be any. Didn't seem to be any communication. It was just. I mean, yeah, I, I they just seem to be lacking a little bit of pace in the backs at the moment. Old collegians. Still very loud behind us. <laughs> That's Rob Brown auctioning off the jerseys. At least it's not coming out the outdoor speakers this time. Yes, no, they'll fix that. Yeah, I think if they can just get the ball into a bit of space, old Coles, and, and, and Juan's done really well with the girls working on that, just that work off the ball to get into space. Have your girls that quite have known the game really well work hard and then find those girls that are in space and play them the ball, but it's, uh, it's yeah, tough. They're, they're influencing the other players as well, though, with, the, with their skills and ability, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's a flow-on effect, yeah. which, is, which is awesome when you have new players that, and they just soak it up. And with so they're away again into midfield, has to step back inside, little then goes that way. Oh. Now they've got numbers. Can they use them? Oh, it's going to go around the outside. Nothing wrong with that. It's on the sleeve.
messy, but we're still going. Oh, just panicked a little bit, and again, they're just trying to get around this outside. Great tackle by Munro, will take them into touch. Bundled into touch. Is this uh, the second line-out we've had for the game? Yeah, not many. Play to jerseys, please, next year, Royal Collegians. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to our sponsor, O'Neill. Yeah, yeah, come on, O'Neill. <laughs> Shouldn't be getting grabbed like that. Oh, yeah. This is the problem, though, isn't it? You have to have shirts that can fit every size oh, yeah. going forward. And That's why the numbers never match. It's week in, week out who's playing, isn't it? It's, lo it's not as if they make individual jerseys. No. We're not, we're not all that fortunate. Knock on. Ooh. Not straight. Oh, you rock the boat, or turn the boat over. I don't know what that signal was. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have a look around the grounds at the women today. Anka Paringa beating South 55 points to nil. Jeez, Anka Paringa. That's a big game. That's a massive game. And Anka Paringa are just coming on in leaps and bounds this year. 54 to 5, Woodville getting over Barossa. Burnside women beating Port Adelaide 49 nil. And obviously this one, 25 points to 26, is down on my scorers. Old Collegians way as well. It's so on the app is I think Old Collegians with the on. nose in front. Now we are. Uh, is there a scorekeeper? Is there well, there's a... three. Well, there's two. They have to match, and we're away oh, again. Three. Anyway. Oh! I don't think it was on purpose, but there's going to be a yellow card. Not something we see in the men's game. No. No, no, the man buns are generally tied up. <laughs> <laughs> unless, unless it's Jaden Phillips, of course. Well, it, I mean, it's interesting, and it's not something I've had a con I've not been able to have a conversation about. Not he, has, he has mentioned that he has been dragged down by his hair. In the NFL, it is not a penalty to be tackled by your hair because you choose to grow your hair. Yeah, I understand. It's it. part of your body, and, and, and it's people just grabbing. Is it a high tackle then? No. It's no penalty at all to be tackled by your hair. You can be, they can literally grab her and pull you down. Because it's... You shouldn't get an advantage because you have long hair, I think is the thinking in the NFL. Oh, how did she get to that that quickly? It was a very slow pickup. Let's go with that. <laughs> We're away again. This is a, it's an exciting finish because scoreboard in here has got them up. Gone backwards, stop worrying. Here yep. we go again. Is there oh, space? Right yes, back. there is space. Has Nathan to beat? Can Nathan bring it down? Yep. Yes, All she down. can. Can she get up and jackal? Yes, she can. Take a bow, B. Nathan. Five minutes to go. Whistle has gone in mouth, yep. and there's the knock on. She's got to be full time up. It is full time. Old Collegians celebrate like they've won. I, I don't know who won. Scoreboard says Scoreboard one says 26-25 to Old Collegians. We've got 25-24. We don't know here. The app, the Rugby Explorer app, has Old Coles 26, Brighton 25. Honestly, there's got to be a score from the referee. The referee would be keeping score. Can you, we're going to see whether we can get someone to speak to Kev and confirm the score. I don't want to go and, we've got it on ours now. If Old Collegians have won that one, it is insane. They never ever played at parity. We never ever played at parity. Old Collegians. And there it is, confirmed by the referee. Old Collegians win an absolute barnstormer. 26 points to 25. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't care what you think of the quality of women's rugby. This is one of the best games that we have ever done on Space Quake Sports. That is incredible. Not just one of the closest we've had. At no point did Old Collegians have the same number of people on the park. It was a, it was, it was a sheep station game right from the outset. College turned up to play and win and they put everything into it. Fantastic effort, ladies! Great spectacle. Let's uh, let's let's encourage all all your friends to get get involved with rugby. How much fun's this? 
That is genuinely one of the greatest games of rugby I have ever seen That's broadcast true. on Spacequake Sports. Ladies, that take a bow. Take Go a bow, yeah. and enjoy yourself. Enjoy your night. Rest tomorrow because you deserve it. Bully, any, any final thoughts from you? I've always wanted to say it, um, and I think this is the right moment to say it. I reckon rugby was a real winner. <laughs> <laughs> rugby was a winner here? Rugby was definitely, definitely the winner. Because the there's nothing, that was unbelievable there's nothing game, for Brighton to be ashamed of. They came across a team that just wanted it more today. And credit to the old Coles girls. I, I, I went out there and helped them on Tuesday, and uh, they just wanted to have fun and just play. I they played unconventional they did. rugby. They did. They threw everything into Is it. Is there any themselves. more fun that you can have oh. than yeah. win a close one? Ladies and gentlemen, game number three is in the books and we're going to break from tradition. We're going to let them sing their song on camera. And the passion continues for them. Let them go. Well done, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, third game of the day in the book, and every single one of them has been absolutely outstanding. We will see you again next week. We are at Old Collegians oh. taking on Burnside. It is another possible grand final preview. Ladies and gentlemen, what a wonderful day of rugby we've had here at Resource Co. Rugby Stadium. I have been Dave Webb, as usual. I've been joined by Steph Redmond, Alex Rockerborough, Tom Hankey, and Pete Cross. What a for day. an absolute marathon day. Thank you very much, and good night.